Yo, hello everyone, my name is Froma Dana and welcome back again to my video. Woo! If you don't know who I am, well, basically that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So, please stay tuned, please watch until the end of this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, so thank you so much for those who's watching my trailer and also for those who's also supporting me and texting me. I really appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, thank you is not, you know. Yeah, so in this video, it's kind of like a touch base with From Aduna, a touch base with this channel because I'm gonna tell you about what I'm gonna do in this channel, what I program in this channel. Basically, I'll tell everything about this channel in this video. Well, again, hi, my name is From Aduna, but usually I always go with just Dona. I'm a social introvert and I'm a polyglot. If you think that social introvert can be combined as one word, well, you can combine that because, you know, like, you're an introvert, but you're not too introvert. You're still enjoying the time you're playing around, you're hanging out, you go outside with your friends, but until that moment when you're really exhausted and you're just gonna decide to, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back home and then you're watching Netflix, eat an ice cream and then you're just gonna enjoy yourself after a really long time hanging out, socializing. So yeah, that's me. Um, I'm also a polyglot. I can speak five languages. My mother tongue is Indonesian and then I grew up with speaking Japanese as well. And then I learned English in school and then I also speak Korean and also French, but I might say that my French isn't that good, but I'm still learning, I'm still improving. Yeah, so if you speak to me in those languages, I basically know and can respond with those languages. That's why I decided to build, to create this channel, because I want to share with you my whole learning process. To be honest, I'm not I'm not the brightest person ever, I'm not the best student in language class, but I'm trying and I have my own way to be able to practice those languages. I know that we're not the smartest people on earth. Yeah, I'm so average, I'm basic, I'm... yeah. I, I'm not standing out in the crowd, so... Anyway, I want to share my experiences, uh, especially from an average person to master, no, not master, to be able to speak, to understand the language. Yeah, I want to share with you all of this thing because I believe that those brightest people, you know, like, they read something and then they, their brains can absorb everything, like, literally everything, 100%. Uh, probably they face some obstacle, they face some challenge, but they might be different than mine. So I'm gonna show you uh, my process. Yeah, because actually guys, it's globalization right now. So if you just speak only one language or two or probably just English, that's quite unfortunate because can you imagine that if you're able to speak another language it's easier for you to get the job or maybe you want to um, to you want to immigrate there and then work there actually that that will be easier for you to speak the language and then get the job there instead of uh, you're trying to get a job there but you have no idea what they're talking about what they ask or the other thing yeah so improve yourself. Actually, I also want to improve myself, so that's why I'm creating this channel with the language that I can speak. Yeah, because I want to, you know, I want to maintain, I want to uh, develop, I want to improve. I don't want to forget everything I learned. So, yeah, that's the whole main reason. Did you know that there's a, kind of like, it's not a proverb, it's Nelson Mandela said that if you can speak 
Mm. A language. Wait. I'm gonna look that up. So Nelson Mandela said that if you talk to a man in language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. So, isn't that nice quote? You know that when you go to somewhere, so let's say that you go to a country and then you can't speak their language, you're just um, wandering around the city, walking around the city and then you get lost and you have no idea how to get back home, how to return to your home and they can't speak your language, then someone will kidnap you, right? Yeah, actually I have a memorable story about that. Which I'm gonna talk about in another video because that will be interesting to talk about though. Right, now let's talk about my goals here. So the first one, I want to encourage you learning a language because I know that it's difficult. Me personally thinking that it's difficult. So that's why I want to encourage you. You know like a proverb, Rome wasn't built in a day. So that's why I want you to know that it takes more than a month, a week, of course a week, more than a week. But yeah, more than a month, more than a semester, more than a year to be able to really master language. So that's why you need to watch, you need to subscribe, you need to share it to everyone you know who's trying or who's struggling with language learning. Yeah, I'm still struggling though. But you know that we're all in this together. We're all in this together. Okay, and then the second one is to help you learning a language because uh, as I told you that I'm polyglot and I'm not the brightest person alive and the whole world is not full of smartest people so it's like I'm gonna give you the dumbest ways to learn a language or the dumbest tips to learn a language and also I have some programs um, so if you watch my latest video the trailer I have Sebuah pemikiran, waktu bercerita, berbahasa, communicate with me, and kongbu aja. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna use these five programs to help you out learning a language. Yeah, and I hope that will be helpful for you. The third goal is share my thoughts about something. Yeah, because you know that learning a language isn't just about a language, but it's also about the culture as well. So if you go to Indonesia, then you're talking kamu. Yeah, so kamu is basically you. If you're saying kamu to someone older than you, then they will consider you as, oh, you're rude. Yeah, so now I'm gonna talk about my programs. I'm gonna give you a touch base with my programs. So first program, Sebuah Pemikiran. I'm gonna tell you my idea, my thoughts. Like, is it important to be polyglot? Is it important to learn another language? Why you need to learn French? Why you need to learn English, Indonesian, Korean, or the other language? Yeah, basically, I'm just gonna share about those topics. But if you have some advices, just let me know in the comment below. Yeah, and then the second one, Waktu bercerita, I'm gonna tell you my stories, <laughs> like my own experiences about something like when I went to Korea, I met Hanajo Ma Hago, Hanajo Shi. The Ajuma Ajushinen, they treated me food because I can't speak Korean. Isn't that nice? I mean, yeah, that's cool. So that's why uh, that's kind of like one reason why I want to go back again to Korea and improve my Korean skill. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you about my stories, my, uh, my real experiences about learning a language. <laughs> right, then the third one is Berbahasa. I'm actually a teacher, Indonesian teacher for foreigners. It's BIPA Bahasa Indonesia untuk penutur asing Tara I found that my friends who's foreigner they face this kind of like problems to learn Indonesian yeah I also find that 
there's people out there who want to learn Indonesian but they don't have access or they don't know how to start so I'll help you to learn Indonesian as well because yeah actually it's important for you to learn Indonesian you know that we're kind of like a big country and then if you're able to speak Indonesian that means that you can travel to all over Indonesia and that's gonna be awesome yeah that's what I'm gonna do for Berbahasa program for Gongbu Aja. Ja, this program is a Hangul Gongbu program. Nida. Yeah, I mean, um, Hangul Gong is a very interesting one. Well, Gongbu is And especially if you're a K-popers, it's necessary for you to understand the language because you know you want to meet your idol. So you know you need to learn the language. Oh, it's so beautiful. 진짜 방탄소년 하는 아주 멋있어. 지민 아빠는 남친이야. 자, 보통은 키퍼블스 그런 생각이 나왔는데요. 그래서 한국어 공부는 좀 소중한 거 아닌가요? 그러니까 공부하자. <웃음> 그러니까 공부합시다. The last one is communicate with me. Yeah, basically, I have no idea why. I came up with the name communicate with me probably I'm just gonna change that along the way when I get the new uh, the new name to go so uh, if you think if you think that the name the title communicate with me is good enough let me know or if you have any other ideas also let me know so in the communicate with me uh, I'm gonna share and teach you a bit. Yeah, because I found that not so many people speaking English, like good English. I know that I'm not good either. I'll share with you about tenses in English because that's really matter. Yeah, I'll share about how I learn tenses, probably the pronunciation, and I hope that it can help you. Yeah, so that's basically my programs for this channel and then I'm trying to upload it every week, every Saturday at 4 p.m. And also if you're asking, oh, do you know what language that you're gonna use for your channel? Right now, I'm only thinking to just uh, speak in two languages, English and yeah. English and also Indonesian. So please, if you find that this channel will be really helpful for you, it doesn't matter whether you're Indonesian or not, or probably from another country. Hello, you're you're so welcome to give me insight, and you're so welcome to watch this channel as well. Please like, comment, and also subscribe and share it with all of your friends. Yeah, just in case they need to improve their language skill and their way to learning a language is similar with me, then yeah, probably I can help them out or help you out. So, thank you so much and see you again next week. Ciao! <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so much fun!